This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Outstanding performance by Liberty Basketball tonight. 78-52 win over Georgia State. First time since 1991. Liberty now 7-1 on the year. What can you say, Ryan? This team continues to play with good basketball, unselfish play, and again, we saw that again tonight. Well, unselfish, and uh, there's a reason that Coach McKay said in the beginning of the year that not many teams will play zone against them. They do at their peril. Last year, down in Atlanta, Liberty was 14 for 26 from three. Tonight, 13 for 25. Playing the way they do defensively, shutting down a dynamic player like Demarcus Simons. Uh, Liberty's just not going to lose that game. Nobody in here thought that they would come away with a resounding close to a 30-point win. We're starting to see this team peak just a little bit, and uh, it's nice to see. Yeah, Liberty led by three at halftime, 32-29, and then they kind of opened things up in that second half. You heard Coach talk about it, the unselfish play. Case in point, Scotty James, who almost had another double-double, eight points, 17 rebounds, but only took two shots. He got some help from the likes of uh, Caleb Holmes, who had 15. Elijah Cuffey had 19. Career high for him. Again, each night it's a different guy. That unselfishness, balanced offensive attack led to another win here tonight. It did, and Scotty posed a huge threat down low from the very beginning of the game. Things that he did tonight just didn't necessarily show up uh, in the box score. Defending on pick and rolls, he was outstanding. The 17 rebounds. You know, when Liberty shuts you down one shot and you're not getting another one, coming down the other end when they're shooting at you know, almost 60% from three, that's very demoralizing. And Scotty gives Liberty a potent post threat in, the, <clears throat> in this conference that none the likes that we're going to see the rest of the year. 26-point win for the Flames. We checked in with them after the ball game. Yeah, I thought in the second half we were, we were really good. Defensively especially, uh, I thought our defensive effort kind of set a little bit of a – a tone in uh, Georgie knocked down a couple of threes early in the half to kind of break the ice and uh, we were we were hard to play against defensively so uh, Georgia State's a really good team I have a ton of respect for coach Hunter I think their players are really good and they're going to win a lot of games in their league so this is a good win for Liberty and uh, uh, I want to make sure we enjoy that I also know we have a lot of room to improve. Yeah, this is a very good Georgia State team. We knew that coming in. We knew that last year when we played them at Georgia State. Uh, they have a very good player in DeMarcus Simons. And so tonight, our whole main key was just to make just gap, gap everything we could, just make them finish over us. And I think that they struggled a little bit with that. And so once they started struggling, I could see it in their faces that, that it started to turn. And I think that we just kept pressing. It's, it's big. Um, we, we know that every game is just as important. And we also know that it's early in the season. So. Even though um, we won, that doesn't define us. We still got to get better every day. We got to get on to, we only have one day off until our next one versus Georgetown. So um, just got to get ready for that. So Liberty now 7-1 and on the year. First time since 1991 the Flames have had that good of a record to start the season. It'll be a challenge on Monday night. They'll head up to Georgetown, 6.30 tip-off between the Hoyas and Liberty and the nation's capital. For Ryan Maddox, I'm Alan York for LibertyFlames.com.